Six Dangerous and Weird Side Effects of Metformin You Should Never Ignore Last time, we pulled back the curtain on the weird and often overlooked side effects of metformin. But what if there's a much darker chapter to this story? What if the medication millions rely on daily carries risks that aren't just uncomfortable, but genuinely life-threatening? Metformin is the most prescribed medication for type 2 diabetes globally, taken by over 100 million people worldwide. Its effectiveness is well documented, but for a significant minority, the journey on this drug can take a perilous turn. We're not talking about the common upset stomach or even the strange metallic taste we discussed before. We're talking about critical, urgent medical emergencies that are often subtle in their onset, easily dismissed, and can have devastating consequences if not identified immediately. You've likely been told metformin is overwhelmingly safe, and for many, it is. But this widespread narrative can create a dangerous blind spot, causing critical early warnings to be overlooked. What if your doctor, focused on managing your blood sugar, isn't fully emphasizing the rarer, but potentially fatal, complications? What if the advice to power through initial side effects could mask the beginnings of a true crisis? We're going to expose dangers so severe, they can lead to irreversible neurological damage, a dramatic drop in blood pressure or even a silent killer known for a staggering 50% mortality rate if left untreated. This isn't about fear, it's about crucial knowledge. It's about empowering you to recognize the red flags that demand immediate medical attention. If you or someone you know takes metformin, this video is a wake-up call you cannot afford to ignore. Stay with us as we reveal the genuinely dangerous side effects of metformin that could change everything. 1. Dress Syndrome Drug rash with eosinophilia and systemic symptoms, known as dress syndrome, represents one of the most severe and unpredictable reactions to metformin. This rare but potentially life-threatening condition typically develops three to nine weeks after starting the medication, making it particularly insidious because patients and doctors may not immediately connect the symptoms to metformin use. Dress syndrome manifests as a constellation of alarming symptoms that affect multiple organ systems simultaneously. The characteristic skin rash often appears as widespread, inflamed patches that can cover large portions of your body. Fever frequently accompanies the rash, along with swollen lymph nodes that you can feel in your neck, armpits, or groin area. A documented case published in medical literature describes a 45-year-old male who developed a diffuse pustular rash just three days after beginning metformin therapy. The causal relationship was definitively established through a D-challenge rechallenge test, where the rash completely resolved after stopping metformin but reappeared when a different brand of the same medication was administered. The internal organ involvement in dress syndrome can be devastating. Your liver may become inflamed, leading to elevated liver enzymes and potential hepatitis. Your kidneys can also be affected, causing acute kidney injury that compounds the risks already associated with metformin use. Some patients develop inflammation of the heart muscle or lungs, creating life-threatening complications. Dress syndrome represents a delayed, immune-mediated hypersensitivity reaction where your body's defense system essentially turns against itself. The exact molecular mechanism remains unclear, but the documented D-challenge and re-challenge results provide undeniable evidence of causality. This reaction underscores that even widely prescribed medications like metformin carry rare but serious risks that require immediate medical attention when symptoms appear. 2. Nail dystrophy and onycholysis Nail dystrophy and onycholysis represent some of the most visually striking yet least known side effects of metformin therapy. This condition involves the thickening, yellowing, and eventual detachment of your nails from the nail bed, creating a distinctly abnormal appearance that can affect both fingernails and toenails. The medical literature contains compelling case reports establishing the causal link between metformin and nail disorders. One particularly convincing case titled Possible Metformin-Induced Toenails Disorder documented a patient whose nail abnormalities appeared after starting metformin, resolved completely after discontinuation, and then recurred when metformin therapy was restarted. The visual signs of metformin-induced nail dystrophy are unmistakable once you know what to look for. 
your nails may begin to thicken significantly, becoming much more difficult to trim than normal. The characteristic yellowing often starts at the base of the nail and progresses toward the tip, creating an unsightly discoloration that doesn't improve with typical nail care. Onycholysis, the technical term for nail separation from the nail bed, creates gaps between your nail and the underlying tissue. This separation typically begins at the tip or sides of the nail and gradually extends toward the base. The affected areas may appear white or yellowish, and you might notice increased sensitivity or mild discomfort in the affected digits. 3. Acute kidney injury. Acute kidney injury represents one of the most serious paradoxes in metformin therapy. While this diabetes medication offers long-term kidney protection, it can simultaneously pose immediate risks to renal function. The International Journal of Molecular Sciences reveals that metformin actually provides renoprotective effects by reducing inflammation, oxidative stress, and fibrosis in diabetic kidney disease. However, the danger lies in metformin's complete dependence on your kidneys for elimination. Unlike many medications that are processed by the liver, metformin is excreted almost entirely unchanged through tubular secretion in your kidneys. This means that any decline in kidney function can cause the drug to accumulate in dangerous concentrations throughout your body. The warning signs of acute kidney injury can be subtle but deadly. Watch for decreased urination, swelling in your legs and ankles, and persistent fatigue that doesn't improve with rest. You might also experience nausea, confusion, or shortness of breath that seems unrelated to your usual activities. Clinical studies demonstrate that metformin users actually experience slower progression to end-stage renal disease and reduced mortality in patients with chronic kidney disease. This protective effect occurs through activation of the AMPK pathway, which reduces inflammation and oxidative stress in kidney tissues. The mechanism creates a fascinating medical contradiction where the same drug that protects your kidneys long-term can damage them acutely if clearance becomes impaired. The accumulation of metformin in compromised kidneys increases the risk of metformin-associated lactic acidosis, a potentially fatal condition. This highlights why regular kidney function monitoring becomes absolutely critical for anyone taking this medication. Your doctor should be checking your creatinine levels and estimated glomerular filtration rate regularly to ensure your kidneys can safely process metformin. 4. Bone Health and Fracture Risk The relationship between metformin and bone health presents a fascinating area of medical research that challenges common assumptions about diabetes medications and skeletal integrity. Contrary to concerns about bone weakening, emerging evidence suggests that metformin may actually provide significant bone protective effects that could reduce your fracture risk over time. A groundbreaking Mendelian randomization study published in DovePress identified a significant negative association between metformin use and osteoporosis development. This sophisticated research method uses genetic variations to establish causal relationships, providing stronger evidence than traditional observational studies. The findings indicate that metformin users may experience genuine protection against bone density loss. Danish researchers conducted a large-scale retrospective study that revealed metformin significantly reduced fracture risk among users compared to those taking other diabetes medications. This protective effect appeared to be independent of other factors like blood sugar control, body weight, or vitamin D levels. The fracture reduction was particularly notable in weight-bearing bones like the hip and spine. The bone protective mechanism appears to involve metformin's activation of the AMPK pathway, which plays a crucial role in cellular energy metabolism. This activation promotes osteogenesis the natural process of bone formation by specialized cells called osteoblasts. Metformin also influences the expression of runt-related transcription factor 2, known as RUNX2, which serves as a master regulator of osteocyte differentiation and bone matrix production. However, the signs of changing bone health can be subtle and develop slowly over years. You might notice improved recovery from minor bone injuries or reduced joint stiffness during physical activity. Some patients report feeling more stable during weight-bearing exercises or experiencing fewer stress fractures during high-impact activities.
Regular bone density testing becomes important to monitor these potential protective effects and ensure your skeletal health is indeed improving rather than deteriorating. 5. Thyroid Stimulating Hormone Suppression Metformin's effect on thyroid stimulating hormone levels represents a complex endocrine interaction that can significantly impact your thyroid function, particularly if you already have hypothyroidism or polycystic ovary syndrome. This hormonal shift occurs through mechanisms that medical researchers are still working to fully understand. The suppression of TSH levels appears most pronounced in patients with pre-existing thyroid conditions. A comprehensive meta-analysis published in the Journal of Endocrinology demonstrated measurable TSH reduction in both overt and subclinical hypothyroidism patients taking metformin. Interestingly, this effect typically occurs without corresponding changes in free thyroid hormone levels, creating a unique hormonal pattern. The signs of TSH suppression can be subtle and easily overlooked. You might experience increased energy levels, mild weight loss, or improve cold tolerance if you previously had hypothyroidism. Some patients report better mood stability or enhanced mental clarity, though these changes can be gradual and attributed to improved diabetes control rather than thyroid effects. The mechanism behind TSH suppression likely involves metformin's enhancement of thyroid hormone effects at the pituitary gland level. The drug may also activate the MPK pathway in thyroid tissue, influencing hormone secretion patterns. Additionally, metformin appears to inhibit thyroid cancer cell growth through effects on insulin-like growth factor and MTOR pathways, suggesting broader thyroid protective properties. Monitoring becomes crucial because TSH suppression can mask underlying thyroid problems or create new ones. Your doctor should check thyroid function tests more frequently while you're taking metformin, especially if you have a history of thyroid disease. The reversible nature of this effect means that stopping metformin typically restores normal TSH levels, but the timing and extent of recovery can vary significantly between individuals. 6. Acute pancreatitis Acute pancreatitis represents perhaps the most controversial and debated side effect associated with metformin therapy. While the association remains extremely rare and highly disputed in medical circles, Documented cases provide compelling evidence that this severe inflammatory condition can occur in susceptible individuals taking therapeutic doses of metformin. The medical literature contains striking case reports, including one published in the journal Pancreas, describing a 19-year-old man who developed acute pancreatitis after taking standard metformin doses. The case became particularly convincing when symptoms recurred upon re-exposure to the drug establishing a clear temporal relationship between metformin use and pancreatic inflammation. The signs of acute pancreatitis are unmistakable and require immediate medical attention. Severe abdominal pain typically begins suddenly and may radiate to your back, often described as a knife-like sensation that worsens when lying flat. Nausea and vomiting frequently accompany the pain, and you may experience fever, rapid pulse, and tenderness when your abdomen is touched. Paradoxically, research published in Frontiers in Physiology suggests that metformin may actually reduce pancreatic cancer risk by decreasing insulin and insulin-like growth factor signaling while inhibiting the MTOR pathway. This protective effect against cancer creates another medical contradiction where the same drug that rarely causes acute inflammation may provide long-term cancer protection. The proposed mechanism for metformin-induced pancreatitis involves disruption of mitochondrial homeostasis and increased oxidative mitochondrial DNA generation, as suggested by research in the British Journal of Pharmacology. This cellular-level disruption could potentially trigger inflammatory cascades in susceptible individuals, though the exact pathway remains speculative. The rarity of this reaction, combined with metformin's overall safety profile, means that the benefits typically far outweigh the risks for most patients. Thank you for watching and supporting our work. If you found this helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more content like this.